Hiya, it's October 2023 and I wanted to have a look at some of the uh, current UK DAB and other radios that are available. Is radio still relevant in uh, 2023? Well, for me it is. It's a great way of having something in the background to provide uh, information, a bit of company, a bit of distraction. Something that uh, you can have on in the background without requiring your full attention such as watching TV or being on your tablet or phone requires 100% of your attention with the radio. It's there, it's on, it's in the background, you can still do other stuff, but you might learn something or you might be entertained or you might be able to have a little sing song and a little dance. There will be a little sound comparison towards the end of this video. I don't know if the video will get taken down because of copyright infringement or what, but how can you do a radio review without any audio samples? How can you compare? I've watched quite a lot of radio reviews and they don't play the bloody radio. How are you meant to hear what it sounds like? So yeah, I've put a, a little bit of audio at the end with a microphone about one or two inches away from each speaker. So you can at least get some idea of uh, what they sound like compared to each other. So this one, uh, Walk Radio it's called. This is just a cheap off of China special from Amazon. It was really cheap. It's really nice and small and light. It's got DAB and FM, uh, presets, sleep timer, all the rest of it, all the usual stuff. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. It was a bit of a bargain, about 20 quid. Slip it in your pocket. Yeah, it's all right. Sounds really tinny from this little speaker, but you know. That's that one. It's okay. Has got an inbuilt battery, micro USB rechargeable. Battery life is probably about eight hours, something like that. So yeah, not a bad choice. Not bad at all. I listen to quite a lot of radio, so I want something with better sound quality than this, than this, and with a, a, a better battery. Then uh, I bought this, the Sony XDR S41D, DAB and FM, and powered by. Four AA batteries. I think they said this gives you about 20 hours battery life. I find that very hard to believe. Uh, I've only had this for a couple of days. This has got a few really nice points about it. It's really well built. Sony, Sony build quality. Really nicely finished. It's got a clicky on off switch dedicated there, which I really like. It's hospitality. And for that reason, I don't really believe that this book is racist in the sense that maybe some people are trying to paint it. The display is really good on this. Plenty of info all on one screen, front facing so you can see it when it's on your shelf, which is really good. The thing I, reason I bought this really was because it's got five dedicated preset buttons on there. Click, click, click for your favorite station. So quick, so easy. None of these other radios have got that. And I think that's a glaring emission from all of them. Just whack some buttons on the top there. Well done, Sony. That's brilliant. The sound is okay. It's okay for speech. It's good for speech. Really clear. Nice highs and, and mids. There's no real low end to speak of with this radio. If you bung it in a corner or something, it's all right. It's great for speech. It's not great for music. And the only other query I have is whilst this little slide switch here it's good for navigating and then you press to select. Uh, I'm not sure how durable that's going to be. Um, but yeah, it's a solid radio. About 68 quid though. Um, I like it. I like the design. It's white so it goes with, you know, most decor. Um, but this, it's let down a little bit by the sound quality, which is a damn shame because it's really nicely laid out. A, a physical volume button on the side there, it's not like I'm in English. which is really nice to have. Preset buttons, like I say, the sound's not great. And the fact that you have to change the batteries um, rather than having an inbuilt battery or chargeable batteries whilst it's plugged into the mains is a drawback, as is the sound quality. It's decent. If you're listening to speech radio, um, it's absolutely fine. It's good radio. This one is Robert's Play 11. I think these are about 45 quid. Uh, it looks okay. It's got this fabric front on, a rather attractive Robert's logo stuck on the front there. It looks quite nice. A nice click button for the power and volume. It's a very great personal interest to me because the things that she's talking about I like having physical volume 
and click on and off switch it just makes it really convenient whack it there you go turn it up there it's also got another button for scrolling through your stations which is really handy click to select uh, it's a decent little user interface it's quite small Daphne and, and Costas are having to, to go through where there's it sounds okay people and it's and relatively cheap trying. however it doesn't look as nice nor does it sound as nice as the Roberts Rambler Mini um, I think this looks really nice it's just made out of plastic these uh, wood effect panels they are wood effect it's just plastic looks quite nice I think it looks nicer in the flesh than it does on the online photos it certainly doesn't look as nice as the Roberts Rambler Bluetooth this is 100% plastic but it feels quite solid it looks lovely it looks really nice and uh, nice clicky on off switch it's been sent a project to investigate her, her family tree. Decent her little display on there. Fairly easy to use interface on the top. Scroll through your channels there. This button is an enter button. Yes, yeah, so easy, easy enough to save presets and everything. It's nice. It's got an inbuilt battery, which to me is just such a, a, a bonus. And USB-C charging point. Welcome to the new world, Roberts. Finally, they've started putting USB-C on some of their radios. So this one I really like. I mean, it was 78 quid, I think. So they're not cheap, are they, for a radio? DAB and FM uh, and Bluetooth as a tooth as well, so you can use it as a speaker. The most important thing for me is audio quality. This, this sounds loads better than the Roberts Rambler Bluetooth. The slightly bigger model with real wood ends and everything. That looks gorgeous. I love that. Rambler is my favourite from Roberts. Um, this is a bit smaller, but it sounds loads better. It's much warmer. They've managed to capture the Roberts kind of signature warm tone, I think, with this one. Uh, it's loads better than the Roberts Rambler Bluetooth. If you're looking at that one or the Mini, buy the Mini, honestly, it's smaller. It's got USB-C charging for its internal battery while the Rambler Bluetooth takes four C cell batteries. What the hell? Yeah, this is nice. Sound is okay. Re again, really nice for speech, but for music, yeah, it's still lacking. It's just a little radio, but really nice. I like this one a lot. But then we've got the Roberts uh, Revival Petite. Look at this thing. This is so cute. This is the only one out of all the radios that feels premium this feels heavy solid really well finished this feels more like the old style ones than any of the other ones i don't know what this is made of it's probably plastic but it's wrapped in this leather uh, it's so cute the main advantage of this one is it's got a built-in bass radiator on the back the sound audio quality from this one is by far the best. I would say this is the best little compact DAB radio in terms of audio quality on the market today. I think I paid 90 quid for this one. So again, they're, they're relatively expensive, aren't they? It's just a little radio. One annoyance about this is that it uses micro USB. It's got an inbuilt battery uh, rated at 20 hours battery life. I believe this one's rated at 10 hours. But this has got a blooming micro USB-C charging point. That's really old fashioned, Roberts. Why couldn't you have bunged a USB-C on there? Anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, this is a beauty and it sounds amazing. Really impressive for the size. The user interface is somewhat counterintuitive. This button you'd think would be a volume control, but no, this is used to, to select presets. These are the volume buttons. This scrolls through your presets, but it is actually really good and really quick for scrolling through your different channels. Scroll through really quickly, press to select, it's good. And then the volume buttons are here on the side. I personally think Robert's really um, have, are getting it right with the design choices at the moment although this one's plastic 100% plastic it, it looks nice it feels nice for me a radio has to or, or anything that you own should be either beautiful or functional or both and I think Robert's are really getting it right in that respect so out of all the radios I've discussed these two 
this one's definitely got the best sound this one I really like the way it looks because I've got a lot of nostalgic affection for the Rambler and Roberts radios this one doesn't sound as good as this one but it's got the, the volume knob there really quick and easy to use this one is fairly quick and easy to use as well but if you want the best sound quality that you can in a really compact and portable package with a built-in 20 hour rated battery get this it's 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 brilliant thanks for watching bye bye Yeah, I think, um, well, I, I really hope that other people can feel like they're, they can to do if a dog did threaten or even attack them or their family. So then now I'm writing these scripts for the next Yeah, sorry, I, all I was going to say was I think we should just remind our listeners that the the uh, barrage of of messages, you know, thousands, was by one of her you know, when we talk about how this works and the system works and the need for independence, you know, that, that people may not be able to relate to, to a lot of this story, but what they perhaps could relate to is not wanting to be seen as a troublemaker, not wanting to threaten their career, not wanting... ...about any difficulty at work. And, and, and that, that makes this particular case of, of the details we do know, uh, you know, a particularly difficult one to think about how you would navigate, especially... As a as a nineteen year old.